Hi friends, welcome to day eight of Advent. day eight we will be discussing another question from you guys and today's question comes from Kate Cavanaugh and her question is have you noticed your main story changing over time based on current trends? I would say yes and no. I think not necessarily in current book trends but in current of the things that I'm reading in the sense that originally I had this plot idea or like a world building idea that I thought was like so super cool and so like no one had ever thought of it before and then I read the Percy Jackson series a couple of years ago and was like huh, I thought I was cool but Rick Riordan is way cooler than me because he already thought of this and he's already published a book about it and so I'm not as cool as I thought I was my book was based off of Greek mythology and the Percy Jackson series is based off of Greek mythology and um, it just there was a lot of similarities and things that kind of were woven together and because of that and because of my love of the Percy Jackson series just absolutely love the whole Riordan verse I chose to change up some things about my world building, my characters, because I felt like I couldn't write what I loved better than what Rick had already done. So not in a sense that I'm not saying that someone else couldn't write it and me love that also, but I knew for me as much as I loved that series and those books, I was going to let it influence my book too much. So I needed to shift it in the sense that it didn't necessarily go where those books went. Um, and I say as not a current book trend because Percy Jackson series was very popular way before I read it. So I don't feel like that was a current book trend so much as just that was when I finally got around to reading it. So that was when I found the series and that was the books that I was reading at the time. I also think since I started writing that book, my main books uh, that I started probably 14-15 years ago, I think that I have changed the way that I read in that I read a lot more adult fantasy now than I did prior and my book has changed from a YA fantasy to an adult fantasy because I feel like it's a lot darker and has more darker grown-up adult themes than what it did 15 years ago when I was a 19 year old writing my story in college. So it's definitely changed over time but I don't know again that it's changed based off of book trends and I feel like part of that is because it's taking me so long to write it that it wouldn't really matter if it changed off based off of book trends because by then book trends are going to be completely different um, and that's kind of the thing they tell you not to write based off of trends. You want to write so that you can make the next trend. So that's what we're going for. That's my answer. I've changed my book to write on the next trend hopefully let me know in the comments if this is something that you have done or if you just like have an idea and you go with it and you stick with it or has your books changed over time based off of current trends or current reads that you're reading it is time for today's creator spotlight so we're gonna pull day eight and see who we get to talk about today today we are going to talk about natalia martinez natalia is a booktube channel primarily. She does book reviews and also does uh, has parts in lots of book clubs. She was one of the larger participants and like the behind the scenes scheduler in uh, this year's Social Distance Book Fest and that is how I know her. She doesn't post as frequently as some of the rest of us do but I do really enjoy when she does post. Natalia is Latinx and she does tend to focus on authors of Latinx origins and focuses on things that are not in my own <laughs> repertoire of things so I always go to her when I am looking for something that I want to read that is outside of my own experience. Uh, I feel like she has great recommendations for that so if you're looking for more recommendations from outside of your own pale pasty white person experience definitely check out Natalia and hopefully you will find something there that you enjoy. That's going to be it for today. Make sure that if you don't want to miss any more of the advent videos for this month that you hit the subscribe button down below and if you're feeling like you know you haven't had a great day make sure you hit the like button because it changes colors 
and I like it when things change colors. It's Christmas season, so like lights are cool. You'll get a cool light if you hit the like button. Promise. Can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow. Bye!